Hello, it's the Devil Joe, and in today's video, we shall look at which Devil May Cry game has the best Royal Guard. So far, I've ranked the times that Dante got stabbed throughout the series, the different versions of Yamato, so I have decided to rank Dante's four styles in each game, starting off with the style infamous for its huge ass learning curve, but also well known for its high payoff while heavily testing your own masculinity at the same time. Royal Big Cockadoodle Do Guard. Here's how this whole ranking business is gonna go. I'll be categorizing the RGs based on the following categories. Block timings, which of them had the tightest timing? Rage Phillips, which rage meter fills out the fastest? Release power, which release packs the most punch? And sound effects, which style sounded the best? I'll even throw a top three at the end of this video so that I can crown the winning game with a WORLD ROYAL GUARD CHAMPIONSHIP TITLE. Without further ado, let's dive into this CRAZY RANKING! Starting off with Devil May Cry 3. Royal Guard in this game is hard to get into, while being an absolute bitch to master. The timing for a royal block goes like this. You gotta hit that style button at the very split second when the attack is about to land on Dante. Then it's a royal block. Block the attack right before it lands, then it's a standard block that ends up chip damaging you in the process. I do not recommend getting used to standard blocking, as that can lead to an eventual death. They're more prone to breaking. A broken guard will leave Dante open to getting swiped by prides, lusts, sloths, and all these other clowns. Pull off a royal block, you can get a solid stagger on the enemies for a moment. To bully him coming up with the most creative combos you can think of. Once you get used to the timing that's tighter than Primea case put Baba Boy. You'll even fill up the rage faster to have Dante counter back with bigger loads. Through the release, you got two of them, the regular and royal release. Regular release can put out high damage. And believe me, it's enough to kill off one guy and chop off an entire boss's health bar. But wait till you get a load of a full royal release when you counter an attack at the second it's about to hit you. Dante is more than capable of shooting out the biggest load that'll obliterate a shit ton of crowds, depriving them of any opportunity to jump you. I'd even argue that regular level 3 release and royal release in DMC3 are the most powerful that they've ever been in the entire franchise. There's an actual clip of one dude ending Battle 3 Virgil on Dante Must Die with DT Burst and royal release. Despite royal block timings being a challenge to farm, there's one way to farm rage faster than it already fills up, using the infamous roll parry. When pulling off a dodge, hit that style button mid-animation. Boom! Instant royal block. Through exploiting a couple of iframes, getting higher style points while recharging that rage for bigger releases. That comes with the kick-ass sound effect when you execute that perfect block. You get the perfect clang sound that slaps every time. The regular guard is a mini version of that clang. The guard break has the sound of all your hopes and dreams shattering before your very eyes. Have a listen to the tragedy at hand. Having said that royal guard in DMC3 is peak, sure it's hard to learn and you might break a couple of controllers learning it, but once you master it you'll find yourself having the most fun with DMC3 while breaking the game at the same time. So in short, Devil May Cry 3 royal guard. It's as satisfying to me as uh, coming is. You know, as uh, having sex with a woman and coming. Heading straight to Devil May Cry 4, that has a royal guard with a much higher learning curve than DMC3. I mentioned DMC3 coming at you with some tight windows of opportunity for royal blocks, but goddamn does DMC4 take the cake for airtight timings, sometimes needing you to block at a millisecond for a royal block. If you get lucky, most of the time you'll get a normal block. For most people, trying to get the hang of royal guard will find guard breaks to be a relatively common occurrence, more than it was in 3. The rage meter fills up pretty quickly after them royal blocks. As for release as well, the power is extremely variable. If the meter is filled up at the lower end of the spectrum, then the counter is pretty weak. It'll kill an enemy and melt away a boss's health bar. It ain't as effective as DMC3's release, but the full release will instantly kill a ton of demons on the spot. As per the royal release, it does deal the highest amount of damage to large crowds of demons, but it's much trickier to pull off. In order to get good at DMC4's royal guard, you have to eat sleep, and breathe Devil May Cry 4 to get a glimpse of its full power. Heading on over to the most forgiving royal guard in the series and that's Devil May Cry 5's RG that changed a few things up to make it easier to get into for newer players. Or to most people who ended up parking it aside because it gave too much of a kick to the nuts. To the point where they thought it was completely useless, yours truly included. First off, when you wind up going for a standard block, your DT is the one that gets spent instead of getting chip damaged inviting more players over to try the style out. 
Hell, the only circumstance you'll ever get your hopes and dreams broken is standard blocking with an empty DT gauge. But that gets filled up fast once you hit that royal block. That gets executed through hitting that style button at the exact second where the attack is about to hit Dante. Getting a slightly looser window than DMC3 and especially DMC4 since it has a bit more of a lenient window of opportunity to get that perfect clang. But lenient doesn't mean easy, you still get brutally punished if you're off by two margins. Pull it off right, the style meter rises, DT and Royal Rage recharge at a much faster rate. Since I just bought up the Royal Rage meter that does fill up a tad bit quicker than DMC4's meter, let's be honest, no Rage meter filled up faster than DMC3's Rage. You still get ridiculously powerful releases that kill off a demon in an instant. Trust me, it can shred bosses apart with a full meter. Some of the lower levels are nothing to scoff at. They can deal some serious blows, but if you time it perfectly with an attack, that's about to land and boom, royal release. Taking down entire crowds, countering all huge attacks, trivializing the entire encounter. As per how it sounds, the regular guard is a pedestrian soft sounding clang, but damn does that royal block have the most banging clang that has ever been conjured up. For the release, the regular one has the sound of every single bit of force blocked by Dante, being redirected at the enemy all at once. The royal release, however, sounds as smooth as a perfect counter could get. So in short, DMC5's Royal Guard is a great learning tool for a lot of newer players to try out this high risk reward style, by making block timings a bit more forgiving. While the break consequences are something a bit more plausible for most gamers to get behind, you can now walk while you're guarding, if you think you don't need no damn weapons, and you'll just Royal Guard the entire mission, while you can unequip everything to test your Royal Guard strats. Now we get to the grand stand of crowning a World Royal Guard Champion, time to unpack the top 3! In the number 3 spot we got DMC4. I know, I know, Royal Guard is very OP and all, but them damn timings are too tight for most players to get used to. Hell, you get brutally punished for even attempting to use it, through standard blocking, causing most people to think that it's completely useless. I'll most definitely end up liking it a lot more than I do now once I start taking my get good pills, but at this point in time I don't have all eternity, but it's definitely worth revisiting later down the line. Just gotta check if Chaser Tech or any of the other high level DMC players have a tutorial on Royal Guard in 4. In the number 2 spot we have DMC5's version of Royal Guard for doing accessibility the right way, without sacrificing a lot of what made the style goated in the first place. Normal blocks use up DT. You only get a broken guard after your entire DT gauge has been spent. Getting more players to give Royal Guard a shot. Hell, the timing is a lot looser than what's on offer in DMC 3 and 4, making these perfect parry attempts more hopeful. But accessible doesn't mean piss easy. The Royal Block, you still need to time it at the exact same time when you're about to get hit. For a Royal Block and a Royal Release to reap its rewards. Hell, I'd even say that DMC5's Royal Guard is a great gateway to start using this overpowered style. Some of the skills are transferable over to DMC3 and 4, while 5's Royal Guard is a blast to use. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Royal Guard Championship title, Devil May Cry 3! As overpowered as DMC4 and 5's guards are, DMC3 just solos, it ain't easy to learn like 5's Royal Guard. In fact, it's a pain in the dick to get a hang of, but oh my god, once you get the hang of it, you'll be filling out that rage in no time. Especially if you get them royal block timings down, you can stagger demons for a moment to combo them till they cry out bloody tears. Do not get me started on that royal release, taking out entire armies of demons, chopping them in half or even less than that. It can trivialize entire boss encounters through roll parries. Not to mention air blocks, those along with the roll parries could be used to form the rage meter quickly. To release all that pent up fury all at once. Or inflict 4 times the pain through the perfect counter. Now that the Royal Guard Champion has been finally crowned, we come to the end of this video. What were your guys thoughts on it? And which Royal Guard did you think was more deserving of the World Championship title? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button and smash the subscribe button while ringing that bell. Not to miss new Devil May Cry and action game videos from me. This has been the Devil Joe signing out. Come on. Let's rock. Thank you.
Yeah.